Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and this right here is the most incredible image ever produced by the Hubble telescope or potentially just in general by anything. Today we're going to discuss what exactly this image is, what it represents and why it's so absolutely mind-blowing. Welcome to What The Meh. And in order for us to start this story, we're going to start with this. This is the LEGO model of the Hubble telescope, the most impressive telescope ever constructed by human beings, spearheaded and designed by this wonderful lady right here, Nancy J. Roman. This is actually from the LEGO set I bought um, a few months ago and I even made a video about it. You can check it out right above my head if you'd like to get a copy of this as well. But today we're going to be talking about the image that was recently reconstructed using Hubble data and the image that is just so mind-blowing that, well, it actually crashed my computer when I tried to open it. So first of all, our story begins back in 1995 when scientists decided to see how much they could push Hubble and they decided to just stare at the same spot for about 10 days and record all of the data and then all of this data was reconstructed in a single image known as the Hubble Deep Field. This image was the epithet of Hubble's possibilities and Hubble's potentials of seeing far, far away. It was essentially an image that showed us very, 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 very dark time back billions of years ago. And it was a look into the universe's history. But scientists were not satisfied with that just yet. They decided to push it further. And so for many decades, for many years, we kept pushing it more and more, looking at different locations, and discovering new and new things with this incredible telescope. But this was in 1995, and since then, over 20 years have passed, and we've collected a lot of data from Hubble. And this is when the scientists decided to create something new. They decided to combine all of this data from various decades and focus on just one spot in the skies. They have then picked a location in the skies that was approximately same size as the full moon and combined all the data, including ultraviolet data, infrared, x-ray data, into a single image made out of approximately 7,500 different exposures. Representative of 31 different Hubble programs that were initiated over the period of about 16 years. And overall, this whole image um, was almost as if we looked at the same spot for about eight months. And what the scientists were able to produce is pretty mind-blowing, actually. So you can find the image itself in the description below. And let me warn you, it's really, really big. It's so big, as a matter of fact, that, like I said, it crashed my computer. The image that they refer to as the Hubble Legacy Field as you can see, it comes in different sizes, but the actual original image is approximately 25,000 pixels by 25,000 pixels, and it's equivalent to about 672 megabytes, or if you want it even higher resolution, it's approximately one gigabyte, all in one single file. Now, I was actually able to open this um, with GIMP, which is the free software you can use to edit images, and overall, this is kind of what I got. So here, this image contains over 250,000 different galaxies. You may not see all of them until you start zooming in. And what's really interesting here is that all of this here represents history. This is literally like looking back in time billions and billions of years ago, even though it's a single image. Now, it may not look that way. As a matter of fact, it might not even make sense at first, until you really zoom in and start looking at these tiny, tiny spots, each of which, each single light spot, representing a huge galaxy, very similar to our own Milky Way that you see right here. And every single one of these galaxies contains trillions, or at least billions, hundreds of billions of different stars. Now, this is actually really mind-blowing when you think about it, because all of this is, of course, real. This is not an image that was simulated or generated. All of this is reality, and this is literally in just a tiny, tiny spot of the night skies. That single moon-sized night spot produced over 260,000 different galaxies that you can go and check out by yourself in the link that I provided. But I think this summary right here really makes it much clearer. So let me show you what all of this represents. 
This image here shows you various galaxies that are in this image and their age and also of course the age of the universe when these galaxies sent the light to us that we were then able to capture. So for example, this right here is only about 500 million years after the creation of the universe. And you can see this red shifted galaxy right here that's ridiculously, ridiculously far, but also super, super old. Then a few hundred million years later, this is what we get. Then we get this and so on. With some of the more recent galaxies right here. And so this actually shows you how that single image is literally just all of the times in history, all in the same spot. And it's literally like looking back in time, but you get all of this at the same time. And I really love how effective this particular image is in trying to explain what is really happening right here and how all of this shows you basically the history of time. Now, so far, this is the most accurate and the most detailed image ever produced by anything. And it literally shows us the transformation of the universe through time. And this is super cool because all of the effects we expect uh, those galaxies to have, they actually do have. So like, for example, this is in Space Engine, of course, those are the little spots that we see. Those are also galaxies. And if we kind of use our telescope here to zoom in, you'll see that eventually at a certain distance, the galaxies start turning more yellow and then eventually more red. This is what we call the redshift. So this galaxy here is probably really, really far away. And this is the redshift effect that it gets from moving really fast away from us due to the expansion of the universe itself, due to the stretching of space. Likewise, if I were to zoom in here in this super high quality image and take a look at some of the farther galaxies, you'll notice that just like in the simulation, we have quite a lot of galaxies that are redshifted, which becomes very obvious and very easy to see. And this by itself is pretty much a given proof to us that the universe is expanding, it's expanding really, really fast. And the farther the galaxy is from us, the more redshifted it is. Now, I haven't really found anything super redshifted, like there's one here that's kind of red-ish. There's a few more galaxies that you can obviously see that they're redshifted, um, but what I was personally doing with this image is actually trying to find something that is even more interesting, like, for example, galactic collisions. There's definitely a lot of really cool things to look for here, especially if your computer is powerful enough and if you can zoom in even closer. Um, but just the fact that this image even exists is already mind blowing. Remember, this is not a simulation. This is not a recreation. This is literally a picture of someone looking at the same spot in the skies for a pretty long time with a really, really long exposure without any atmospheric effects because Hubble is actually in space. And until future telescopes come out, this is going to be the best image of the universe we have. As a matter of fact, it's probably going to stay the record holder for at least a few years. And even though the future telescope will actually most likely take an even better picture of the universe, for now, this is probably the best one we have. Which also means that this is literally the best picture of the universe we have as of 2019. Now, honestly, if you have a powerful enough computer, I actually recommend that you go and try to download this and play around with it and see if you can find one of the galactic collisions that were mentioned by the scientific report. I personally couldn't find them. They're just too tiny and there's just too many. Like I said, there's over 250,000 of them. But if you do discover something really cool in the image and you would like to share it, do let me know or actually post it on Twitter and then tweet me um, and I'll repost it as well. Anyway, so this is probably one of the coolest things that I've seen in a long time coming out of Hubble, even though there's so much other stuff that has been posted over the years. But anyway, the link for this image and the link for the Lego set that includes the micro Hubble that you can buy uh, from Amazon are both in the description below. And on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something from it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out and as always, bye bye.